Okay, here's the thing. Like many artists, I have my fair share of sketchbooks. The only thing is, the drawings in them always feel like, well, sketches. Like an idea ready to be birthed whether you like it or not. To fix this problem, I got this cool looking book to use as a final artwork book. So when you flip through on every page, well, on every page on the right, there would be a fully finished artwork. This book is such a good visual example of having an idea and going full out with it, then losing motivation and interest because you went a little bit too full out. I did a bunch of drawings, then I got tired of just doing drawings, so I worked on doing the outlines until I got tired of doing that too. So I decided to do the colouring to the first one only, and the book was never to be touched again until I randomly just started drawing on the next available page, which is fine, you go girl. Um, but the unfinished drawings at the front don't look good at all. Let's fix that by finally finishing them. Well, half of them. I'll finish up the other half in another video. There's not too much to do to this one. I gave it a thicker outline and tried to do a pink background. It didn't go too well because my markers are in desperate need of dad alcohol. I tried to fix it by adding some purple that was definitely under the influence and a red that could definitely do with one or two more shots. I tried adding pure alcohol, aka the colourless blender, to help distract from whatever wild time is happening back there. It's so mesmerising seeing the shapes I draw just appear. Like look at that. Look at it. Bruh. Bruh. This one was already outlined thanks to past me, so all I had to do was erase those pencil lines and broke my eraser in the process. Great. Time for the colour. I know, I know, the way I'm colouring it right now, the skin looks crazy, but I have a plan. And in the end, you're going to be saying, wow, you're so smart. I mean, why wait till the end? Why not say it now? No? Ugh, fine. Well, here I go making the background all black. Why black? Because space. Space is black. There are planets at the top. Look, it, it all makes sense, and if it doesn't, just pretend that it does. Look at that. My plan is coming together. I used markers that made the neon pink pencil brighter. Ooh, it looks so good against the black. The same thing with the neon yellow in the hair. <sighs> I'll wait. Did you say it? Did you say how smart I am? Did you? Huh? Did you? Did you? Can't forget those planets. Glowy. Now, what does space have? other than planets dangling down by string. <laughs> That's right, stars. So let's add those in as well. <laughs> Moving right along to the next drawing. Once again, the outlines are all done, so I just erase the pencil lines. I did fill in those eyes so they were less... creepy. And did a fun, thick outline around the person. Now, the markers. I wanted it to be fun, so I added blue to the shadows. I don't think it made it look horrible. I also don't think it made it look the best. I coloured in the eyes, the hair, and the donut. I take back what I said, the fun blue in the skin looks amazing. I don't blame the donut for its misfortune, I would blame my dry markers. But don't worry, we shall fix this with the pencils. The eyes? Nice and simple. The band-aid is there as well. The hair is green. The shirt is a thing. The skin could use some sunscreen. The donut would kill you if you consume it. The background is turned yellow with an unhealthy sprinkle of the extra extra large sprinkles. But of course, they be rainbow. Before we move on, let me just fix up those lines. They're <laughs> a lot better. You know it already, we got those lines already lining for us, so we just need to erase those pencils. The eyes and the insides are made to be red, obviously, you know, 
blood and stuff. The skin gets some nice green stripes. The skin was already turning greenish from the purification. I just wanted to have some fun with it. The background gets some pink. But only some, because dry markers do be dry. With some pointy things added in as well, just falling down. Or are they falling up? Look at that. It's really looking like Jeff's friend who always seems to be hanging out in his pantry. But not quite. This needs some pencil magic. Let's go. I took the time to fix up the whites in the eyes and the exposed skull. Can't have that be all messy. Jeff would kill me. He's just a bit of a neat freak, that's all. <laughs> Gotta make sure the reds are nice and red so that the reds look good and red. Ooh, they are looking like some nice reds. Let's make the green good and green. Wow, those pencils are so magic. Look at that greenness happening. I just need to fix up the background. Watch out for those pointy things falling. I would hate to be hit by one. Whoops, gotta finish the outlines, then add those thicker outlines that I love so much. Do you know what I love more than thick lines? How much I hate those pencil lines. They gotta go. Great, now we can move right on over to the colour to make this look less like a zebra and more like a giraffe. <laughs> what? Don't lie, you thought I was drawing a zebra person. Well, they're not. They're a giraffe. They got that long twisty neck. That yellow skin with brown splotches. Those dark brown antennae. And the purple hair. And once again, the dry markers strike. I wanted a flat, solid colour for the background, but no, gets all messy and bleh. <sighs> well, might as well go with it. Make it even more messy. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. But we could make it gooder by adding some pencils. The eyes get pencils, the weird antennae get pencils, the skin gets pencils, the splotches get pencils, the hair finally gets the help it needs, and also some pencils. And the background gets a little something. We can't call these finished without adding a signature to each one. How else are you supposed to know I was the artist? Come on, you gotta call me smart for that. Oh, come on, please. Please, just once, please. I have finally finished them all. <sighs> it takes a pretty smart person to be able to do that. Okay, I'll stop. It's fun to see the drawings be drawn in an older style of mine, but coloured in how I would do it now, I think. Just insert some poetic, time-passing, improving skill stuff or whatever. If you're a big wrinkly brain like me, you would know to like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff. And if you didn't know, Welcome to YouTube! Must be your first video. Anyways... I'm gonna... I'm gonna go now. It's not you at all. Like, it's all... it's all me. Okay, maybe it's a little bit you. Bye!